So this is the Aptera's radiator. This is under the car. It's a new development that we have not known about until recently. And I did talk to one of the engineers and they said this is over engineered. At this point, it will be smaller. I'm curious how much smaller for production, but and what kind of drag this will have. But this is what it looks like and it does stick down a bit. And if you kind of follow this, this has got two kind of paths that it follows. So here's the intake here. You can see how it splits on both sides here. And if we keep following that, it goes, this is the intake here. If it goes up the car, goes inside and then actually comes out. I guess you call this exhaust in a way. Or there it comes out again. So the, the full kind of airflow is here. There's one on each side. Goes inside and comes out this grate here for the air coming out. So kind of an interesting way to do it. I'm curious how much lower we'll be able to get this intake. Uh, it's pretty low. Uh, be nice if they could cut this in half at least, but I'm sure this is what they're going to be experimenting with. This how small they can make this until the belly pan cooling is is done. But so here's kind of FAQ on their website. It says the radiators are located in the rear, the air inlet and duct provides the necessary airflow to cool the radiators. It's over engineered during the validation phase, but we'll expect to become smaller before customer deliveries to ensure the impact on overall efficiency is minimal. So pretty interesting. I wonder what your thoughts are on this. Some people said, like, what about like snow getting caught in here during winter kind of thing, which is a valid question. And I don't have an answer for that, but. That's kind of what it's looking like for now. And yeah, pretty interesting. Let me know your thoughts.